here today's sacred cow that we are going to touch and debunk is jesus couldn't heal in his hometown all right so the sacred cow is the bible says that even jesus could not heal or do miracles in his hometown due to their unbelief the people's lack of faith stopped jesus from healing so if someone could if someone doesn't have faith i certainly can't get them healed either that's the sacred cow okay and the result of this belief is that there's a feeling of hopelessness in our ability to get people healed uncertainty of god's ability to heal based on a lack of faith or unbelief of others so that is what we are debunking today that's what we're saying no no here is what the bible says so just gonna jump right into it matthew 13 54 through 58 jesus healed in his hometown 50, verse 54 when he had come to his own country he taught them in their synagogue so that they were astonished and said where did this man get this wisdom and do these mighty works is this not the carpenter's son is not his mother mary and his brother james and jose um, and jose and simon and judas and his sisters are they not all with us where then did this man get all these things so they were offended at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except for his own country and in his own house. Now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. So that was Matthew 13, 54 through 58. I have a backup scripture. You ready? Mark 6, verse 4 through 6. Jesus left there and went into his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things? They asked. What's this wisdom that has been given to him? What are these remarkable miracles he's performing? Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own country among his own relatives and in his house. He could not do mighty works there except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them and he marveled because of their unbelief and then he went about the villages teaching so that's very contrary to jesus couldn't heal in his hometown when the scriptures and matthew and mark say he did do miracles people who know your past and did a portion of life with you always look through the lens of how you were before you were saved and your natural upbringing and what you did before and how you moved and how you operated but by this time jesus is now walking through um healing healing people he's walking through towns he's teaching he's done many miraculous signs by this point in matthew 13 right and um, the disciples knew it. The people who were following him knew it. There were always crowds around him following him everywhere. They knew it. And here these people were saying, isn't this Jesus? Isn't this the carpenter's son? Isn't this? We know him. That's Mary's son. Isn't this his sisters over here? Right? So it's hard for um, me, especially like, I can understand their thought process with it because even now there's only a few people that I am still in relationship with that um, knew me before Christ. I call it BC before Christ, right? Because a lot of people still want to be in the world and they don't want to change their mindset. But right here, Jesus healed in his hometown. But the people's unbelief caused the mighty works of God to be embers instead of fire. Okay, get that. Jesus wants to do mighty miracles. Okay, so never let us look at our past or a new believer and say, 
wasn't this such and such or this person lived here i knew this person bc because second corinthians 5 17 says therefore is if anyone is in christ he is a new creation the old has passed away and behold all things have become new this means that anyone who belongs in christ has become a new person the old life is gone and the new life has begun jesus can do miracles anywhere being born again is literally a miracle so i'm gonna pray this out ready god help us to see what you want us to see in every area of our life no matter where we are or the time that it is give me ears to hear and eyes to see the light of the gospel the truth is you can heal whenever wherever and whomever in jesus name amen